Well, I'm all spruced up. I cut my hair, not too short. And I have a new shirt on that I got for my birthday. So a little bit of Christmas is here too. Welcome everyone to Nanny and the Moose. I'm feeling better every day, trying to resist doing all sorts of things. <laughs> but I do have a funny story for you today. Always have to add a bit of humor, right? So yesterday, I got up in the morning and it was grab the brace. And as the doctor said, put the brace on your knee. Now, maybe some of you don't know, but I did tear the meniscus in my right knee. Went to the doctor, no surgery, but I have this honking brace on my leg and I'm supposed to wear it in the daytime walking about. No immobilizing, but exercising and walking as long as you don't have pain. So yesterday morning, I got up and I grabbed this thing, must weigh five pounds, I swear. Big, big, long thing that goes from the middle of my thigh down to below my calf. And I sat on the edge of the bed, had my glasses on and still haven't gotten new glasses, so they still fall off my face. And I'm trying to figure out all the straps. It has four or five different straps in the back and I'm working on it and trying to bring it around the back. My glasses would fall off and reach for those. Finally got all four or five of these big straps hooked. And I, I thought, hmm, my leg seems to have gotten smaller and I had to adjust the strap. It was, I'm telling you, it took me 15 minutes. So I said, okay, I stood up, I'm ready for the day. Guess what I did? I put it on the wrong leg. Can you believe that? I told that to Dub this morning and I thought she'd die laughing. So I had to take it off again and start the whole process over again, readjust the straps because my knee and part of that um, upper thigh is still swollen a little bit. Anyway, that's the way my day's been going, but I am encouraged. I'm getting some things done. I did a load of wash. As you can see, I dismantled the mantle. We don't have too many places here in the cottage to decorate. So I kind of overdo the mantle a bit. And of course we will have a tree, which will be right here in front of these windows. And hopefully maybe during the week, this coming week, someone will get it out of the shed and we'll bring it in. I wanted to show you that I did cut my hair myself. It was scraggly. It was only about an inch longer than it is here but the ends were very sparse and straggly. Uh, when you're not able to do all the things that you normally bustle around and do, you get to doing some things that you've put off for a while. And this haircut is one of them. At least I have a little bit of fullness. As you can see, my hair is still sparse and thinning, <laughs> but with some tricks, you know, you can make it and fake it, right? <laughs> now, while my curlers are warming up, I'm going to spray my hair with some um, non-aerosol hairspray. And I'm doing that because I want the curls to hold as they dry on these hot rollers. Boy, I used to be able to get chunks of hair in these rollers. It's amazing. So I think it's probably best if I do a, a large roller up here and maybe a small roller down here. I'll take this one out, put a small one in. But I've done three back and then I'll go down the back, couple on the sides, don't have that much hair to go. And that should be it. Well, not much hair went into these curlers. Can you see the back? They're hot, but I'll tell you the problem. <laughs> not too fun with these shoulders and putting curlers in. I might be a scrunchy girl more than a curler girl for a while. Now I'm just going to run my fingers through it. I'm not going to, we'll see where this goes. Can you see the back? seen people do this. I don't know whether it works or not. 
Okay, time to look in the mirror and see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to maybe touch it up, um, kind of tease in some of my, my uh, forehead waves and see where we go from here. It's not a bad hairdo. Now, my next step is I'm going to show you this beautiful thing that I have on. And then I will be going in. I think I might tackle the mantle next. And then I'm going to show you my coat. The next job on my prioritizing list is to clear this mantle of fall and Thanksgiving. And to, not today, but at least clear clear all the pumpkins and everything away. And I have some greens and everything ready to put up here, maybe tomorrow, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how fast I can do this. You're not gonna believe it. How in heaven's name is she doing that, especially with a brace on her knee? My goodness, Nanny, you're doing a great job. Keep it up, girl. I told you it would be fast. <laughs> now, over here, I have a tub full of, of fall and pumpkins. And then over here, I have another tub of greens ready to go up. But what I wanna do first is I wanna dust off the mantle. It gets kind of grotty in between and uh, prepare it for the greens. So I'm gonna leave it like this and I'll bring in a new Christmas wreath and tomorrow maybe we'll get a chance to do this. So, on to the next project. I think it's looking like Christmas around here. What do you it's think, Moose? A lot like Christmas. Christmas. Well, I've made a start on the decor. I'm waiting for Colleen or Micah to hang my wreath, but I think it looks kind of pretty so far. And of course, Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus. Lots of berries, green, a brass candlesticks from Scotland hiding over there. Now up here, I'm gonna hang the wreath and I'm gonna wait until Colleen comes. It's a really vintage wreath with some very old poinsettias on it. <laughs> but I'm gonna have Colleen hang that up when she comes down. I'm noticing my camera seems to have a much stronger light than the other one did. Actually, it's mid-afternoon right now on Friday, and there's not too awfully much light here, but the camera must have a, a light that it puts on because it seems a lot brighter than my other one. I wanted to show you this beautiful shirt Dubby gave me. Isn't it lovely? It's a burgundy velvet. And I think you saw it while I was bustling around. You know, I was in Walmart. Um, well, now it was about 10 days ago. I haven't been out since this happened with my knee. But I saw a pair of beautiful velvet, burgundy velvet pants, trousers. And it looked like they might have had a, a jacket area that it would have gone with, but couldn't find any in my my Walmart at all and couldn't find any in any of the other local mark. I really wanted the jacket, not necessarily the pants, but it was such a beautiful color, this, this burgundy wine velvet, just lovely, lovely design and stitching. And it was only $17.98. So I was talking to Deb on the phone a couple days later, and she said, oh, you have to see this beautiful new jacket that I got at Walmart. And she doesn't usually do too much clothes shopping at Walmart. She's more the upscale catalogs type person just since she needs clothes for her work. And lo and behold, the, it was this velvet jacket. She sent a picture and it was the exact same jacket. And I said, where did you find this? She said, actually online. So I said, oh, I've been looking for that. So she said, well, guess what? I've got new one anyway. So she gave this to me uh, Thanksgiving when we stopped by and I just haven't had a chance to wear it since then, since my my injury happened, but it is beautiful and, and nice workmanship too. So 
on with the hair. I did um, take you into the bathroom with me this morning and I showed you my haircut. Now I only took, I would say an inch and a half off because it was kind of scraggly. I do want it long enough to be able to put it up still since that's my wedding hairdo, but it's nice to have my hair down for a change. Even though it's, it's thinning, thinning aging hair, I can fluff it up with my creams, my dry shampoos. Now, what I did with this hairdo, I did use my Remington Hot Rollers and it did, it's very tight. Actually, my hair is down to here. So I'm sure this will relax, but um, it's a fun hairdo for now. I have to tell you though, keeping my arms up, putting those rollers in, did not do anything for my, my bursitis shoulders. I wanted to show you my makeup today. I haven't had makeup in oh, probably a week. I was running out of my um, normal one. And I right now, I'm just forgetting the name of it. You know I love it. And it has beautiful, oh, it's my Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Finish Makeup. And it's running low and I have to get into my reserves. I do have some extra ones that I put away because I do love this. But I did have an extra e.l.f. primer that I used before I found this. And I put that on and it seems to have covered very nicely. I then went ahead with my, my normal um, duo sticks, my uh, normal cheek contours. In fact, I've ordered those. They should be probably coming today. I needed an extra. Uh, set of these, but I use these and my normal makeup and I did get two new eye well liners, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> my, my daughter watched one of the last videos where I had a giant blurb up here in my eye when I tried to put mascara underneath my eye and she said, mom, your eye blurbs are beginning to become your signature makeup look. You've got to figure it out. So I, I did look online and I found some eyeliners. One of them that I put on today, you probably can't tell, but I'll get a little closer. It's a, a, almost a bronze. I, I didn't want the real black underneath. I don't know whether you can see it. Anyway, it's a bronzy crayon, a creamy crayon that you can um, blend and then perhaps would make your under eyes dark enough so that you wouldn't have to use mascara. And I did that this morning and um, maybe it made a difference. I'll, I'll put the name of it in. I can't remember. It was only $5 on Amazon. So I'm trying, dub. <laughs> I'm trying to fix the eye thing. Now I'm very anxious to see how my hair will come out when it starts to fall a bit. Um, it, it will fall, I'm sure. By tomorrow, I should have another hairdo that I can just whip up without doing anything to. I think these curls will stay in for a couple of days. So I was going to show you my coat. The coat that I ordered to go to Tessie's wedding it's probably one of my favorite things when it came and I opened the box. One of my favorite things that I've ever gotten from Amazon. Now I did get it during the Cyber Monday Black Prime deals. So when I looked at it today, it is another 12 or $15 more. I did get a great deal on it. And I just, I have to put my booties on with it. Right now I have my leg brace on and I've been digging out this morning all of my wide leg pants that I can find because that's basically what I'm going to have to wear for a while. And I found a couple of pair of black ones and I think I have a, a burgundy pair, maybe, maybe a beige pair. But when I show you this coat and I'll dress up in it for the next video, and I'll put my booties on. I might even put the Ralph Lauren skirt on because this is a teddy coat that goes to my ankles. Very, very dramatic, <laughs> very Hollywoodish. 
but it's cozy. It has a beautiful lining, a big collar that stands up, keep my neck warm. So if Moosey and I arrive at the wedding in matching wheelchairs or matching rollators, however we go, <laughs> I will be so cozy warm. This is a tented wedding at four o'clock in the afternoon. And it's uh, down toward the beach away. Not, it's inland, but on the way to San Diego. And it should be cold. So everybody is bringing something. And I found this. Now, it won't just be a wedding coat. I am going to wear this everywhere. I'm going to wear it over jeans. And I'm going to just love it all winter long. And I'm dying to show it to you. But I can't put it on with my slippers and everything. It won't do it justice. So I will stand right back there in this coat with my booties on in the next video, I promise. And I'll show you this beige teddy coat that I think is fabulous. One more thing, a gift from Colleen. <laughs> the first day she came in uh, bustling around making meals for us. It's my favorite scent. I always like to put scent on, even all year round in this. It, this little cottage gets when it gets rainy, it gets dampish smelling. It's a, an adobe brick, a tiny vintage cottage. It's almost a hundred years old. And when I put these, I used to buy the, the gold canyon candles that had the most beautiful scents. And my favorite scent was um, the pine. I think that that's what this one's called, um, something pine, pine needles or something. And it's so, so good. I smelled hers and I haven't started mine yet, but I'm going to be putting this on. I'll ask Colleen where she got this because I do love the, the uh, bowl too. Really cute. One more thing that I will tell you about is Moosey is back to his painting again. As, as some of you might remember, about a year ago, Moosey has spent um, at least a year or two doing this paint by numbers, and he was enjoying it no end. And he did give all our children different paintings and had so much fun. They're beautiful if you've ever done these uh, paint by numbers. And thank heavens he is enjoying it again. It's become a nice hobby for him. And I just wanted to let you know, he's down there in Moosey's world right now, painting away. So I'm about to make some supper. I've been enjoying Margie's turkey soup, which has been out of this world. And next video, also, I'm showing you the special secret spice that she puts in her soups. She'll put it on meats, anything. And it just gives it this fantastic taste. Moosey and I couldn't figure out what it was in the chicken soup that she sent down a few days ago. But Moose ordered some and I'm going to show you what it is. Going in to make supper right now and I still have my brace on my leg. I won't take it off until tonight and, and everything's been going fine. I'm making a tomato basil soup and we're having it with grilled cheese tomato and onion sandwiches. I'm making grilled cheese sandwiches for supper tonight with tomato bisque soup. And I have tomatoes and red onions and some garlic powder on here. I'm using rye bread because I wanna use it up. In here, I have tomato bisque soup mixed with some tomato basil. I have two different cans of soup that I'm mixing together. We are ready to eat. Mm, that's two onions. Well, two onion slices got stuck on the bottom. But boy, that's good. That has cheese and garlic powder, tomatoes, mm, red onion slices. Yummy. And this soup is fabulous. Does that sound good? Decadent. But... That's what we've been doing these days. Thank you so much, all of you, for all your comments. You know, I'm trying to respond here and there as much as I can, but please know that I want to say so much to every single one of you, and thank you personally, but I'm giving you those hearts. 
and know that I've read it completely and that my heart is going to you as my way of thanking you for commenting. Please keep them going because I love to read them. And by the way, so does everyone else. Delb especially, she loves the comments. Goodbye for now. I love you all and God bless us all.